To determine the average speed for the round trip, what we will need is the total distance and the time, because we know that the average speed equals the total distance divided by the total time. Now, the car is traveling up the hill, and when it does that, we can say it travels a distance d. It turns around and drives down the hill, and we can also say that distance is d in that case. So we would notice that the total distance to go both up and down the hill would be 2d. What we need is an expression for the total time. And to get that, we're going to need to rearrange this equation and solve it for time. So we'll multiply both sides by delta t so that the delta t's cancel out on the right-hand side. And then we can divide both sides of the equation by average speed. So the average speeds cancel on the left side. So now we have a time interval equaling a total distance divided by an average speed. Now, going up the hill, the speed is 40 kilometers per hour, and going down, it's a little faster at 60 kilometers per hour. So we can say that the time required to go up the hill would be the distance, which again was d to go up the hill, divided by the average speed of 40 kilometers per hour. And then the time required to go down the hill would be the distance d divided by the 60 kilometers per hour. The total time, of course, will be the sum of these two times. So it would be d over 40 kilometers per hour plus d over 60 kilometers per hour. So now we go back to the average speed equation and we note that the average speed again is total distance divided by total time. Well, here is the total distance and here is the total time. So we're going to basically divide those to get the average speed. So total distance was 2d divided by d over 40 plus d over 60. We'll omit the units for now for clarity. What I might suggest we do is add the like terms on the bottom. Notice this is 1d over 40 and this is 1d over 60. So I would pick up my calculator and I would do 1 over 40 plus 1 over 60. We can do that. They are like terms and therefore we can add them together. When you do that, you get 1 over 24d. You will next notice that the d's are going to cancel out. So you're left with 2 over 1 over 24. And then to divide, you can do keep, change, flip. So you keep the 2, change the division sign to multiplication, and then flip this fraction upside down to make it 24 over 1, which is just 24. And you end up with 48. Remember, this is average speed, and when we were solving this, we were using kilometers per hour, so the unit here would be kilometers per hour as well. So this would be the correct answer to the question.